Hello everyone, welcome to IT Frontier. My name is Harikatnath. Today I am very excited to share with you guys an interesting video. Arduino has announced a revolutionary revision of iconic UNO model. You guys might have heard about Arduino UNO R3, which was very popular and been used in multiple IoT projects. Now they have announced a revision version that is R4. The Arduino UNO R4 indeed preserves the well known features of UNO family. The standard form factor, 5 volts operating model, shield compatibility and robustness. So what are the new features and specifications? What is the price of the new board? When does the shipping start? For all these questions, you need to watch the complete video to get more details on it. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Let's get into the presentation. So first we'll talk about what are the different R4 versions that we have. So Arduino uh, has released two different versions. The first one is Arduino you know, R4 Minima and one more is Arduino you know, R4 Wi-Fi. The details we'll be talking in the coming slides. The first we'll talk about the general upgraded features compared with the Arduino you know, R3. The first one is 32-bit uh, microcontroller that we are using right now. Previously we were using 8-bit Atmega microcontroller and the SRAM. It has drastically went up 16 times, 2 kb to, to 32 kb. The flash memory went up from 32 kb to 256 kb, which means we can program more complex applications. And then uh, all these things uh, we, which will significantly boost in the processing power, memory and functionality. And we can also notice that uh, the clock speed has been increased three times. So these are the brand new features that are available uh, in the new R4 which were not there in R3. The first one is new onboard peripherals. In that we can see CAN bus, SWT connector, op app amp and then we have 12 bit DAC. So previously if you want to use this DAC you have to use external board but right now we have inbuilt DAC which will be useful for many applications. And we have this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability. We were using previously any shield or we were going to alternatives like ESP32 but ESP8266 or 32, but right now uh, ESP32 3S chip has been integrated in Arduino R4 by which we can get this Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. And we can also have a maximum power supply voltage of 24 volts to hit. And it is right now up to date with the USB type C connector and we can use HID protocol over USB type C. And what are the benefits that we get from this new board? So we can create multiple uh, complex and sophisticated projects as we have seen the uh, significant increase in the processing power as well as the RAMs as well as the clock speed. And we can use more sensors and actuators because uh, we have uh, uh, the quick connector compatibility and we can connect to more devices because we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, capability right now. So all this will make us uh, to create more complex and professional grade projects. Now let's compare the uh, Arduino R3 and R4 feature wise. So previously as we know at Mega 328P the 8 bit microcontroller was used. Right now we have Renesis microcontroller which is 32 bit. The clock speed has been increased from 16 to 48 megahertz. Flash memory has been increased 32 KB to 128 KB. SRAM has been increased from 2 KB to 32 KB. EEPROM 1 KB to 8 KB. IO pins remain same because the form factor has been retained for the compatibility issues and then uh, the power supply has been increased from 12 to 24 volts previously it was only 12 volts now we can supply until 24 volts the communication ports previously was this USB UART SPI I2C now uh, that USB type B was changed to type C and then uh, the CAN bus has been used and the ADC analog digital converter pins was having 10 bit resolution and now we have 12 bit resolution. So you know R4 versions as we see there are two types of versions. So first one on the left you can see the minima version and the right side you can see the Wi-Fi version. The difference that we can see here from the R3 and R4 are mentioned here and as well as we can see the difference between minima and Wi-Fi. So we can see the 32 bit microcontroller placed here and then CAN bus is in this 5 pin and then the debug SW header 10 pin is available here and the op-omp 
fall bit DAC, then a DC to DC buck converter we have USB type C con connector is available here. The difference between this and the minima and you know Wi-Fi is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth obviously and it has 12 into 8 onboard LED, LED matrix. Previously we were only having one LED on board by which we were able to tweak and do some LED blinking programs but now we have 12 into 8 which gives us more scope for LED programming and it has this quick compatible connector which is useful for the rapid prototyping if you use this quick connectors. Now let's look into the comparison between minima and Wi-Fi boards in more in the tabular format. So as we have seen uh, these three are already discussed. The one more thing that we have is VRTC and the off pin that is not there in the minima and that is there in the R4 Wi-Fi. So now uh, let's talk about the price and when is going to be shipped. So first one the minima is priced at $20. So in India we have $14.99 and uh, the Wi-Fi version is $27.50 and uh, that is in India 2500 rupees. So delivery starts from first week of July 2023. So it is not yet shipped as of now when I am creating this video. Last thing I need to mention to the Arduino enthusiasts is that even though Arduino Uno R4 has been released, uh, the Arduino Uno R3 will still be available and supported. We hope this video is informative and has taken you to the new exciting world of Arduino R4. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating content like this. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.